Hey everybody, it's Allie and this is Ariam, who's my model today. Hey guys. So we're going to be doing a film noir shoot. As you can see, Ariam's all in costume. He's got his hat, he's got his trench coat, he's got his fake cigarette. And we've got a set. I've made one of my little schnoots out of basically cardstock. I'm planning to shoot with my strip box and bare bulbs. I've also got, I don't know if you can see it in line, but I've got, yep, a set of blinds. So we can create some nice shadows and stripings and things like that. So I'll be showing you the images and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, it's Allie. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I wanted to just share some of the images from my film noir shoot with Ariam. And I also wanted to share a few tips. For example, I have a really small studio and I really need to control the light. Um, I find that pa background paper gets wrinkly and expensive, so I've been using black weed fabric as my background for years when I do black. Um, it's really cheap, it's really black, absorbs the light like crazy, and yes, I said weed fabric. The stuff that you throw in your garden to stop the weeds from coming up. Dirt cheap. The other thing I did was, in this shoot, I, I shoot Ellen Crom lights, and I was creating like a, you know, an accent light, a hair light, or whatever, and I was using a bare bulb, and it was just throwing a little bit more light onto the background than I wanted, so I grabbed some random leftover matting material, it's like the stuff you use to mat pictures that I bought at Michael's, I made a tube with a piece of tape, Stuck it onto my Allen Crom and no more light spell. This was a free hack. It was sitting around the studio. So these kinds of things, very simple. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get the look you need. And the last thing is my blinds. So I have these blinds. I bought them at uh, Kmart. They were 20 bucks. And basically I attach them to a crossbar. I put a, two light stands and a crossbar to, with these bungee cords. And you just open them up, attach the top piece with the bungee cords, let them roll down, and I can put them wherever I need them, which I love, because sometimes I just want to move them left or right or over somewhere, and it's very easy to move them around. And the last thing is I found that, um, so Ellen Crom has a, a trigger that will fire the, that'll allow me to fire speed lights with my Ellen Croms. So I use one of my Canon speed lights with the blinds because it's a tiny light source and as a tiny light source it just works better to give me good vertical like good strong shadows coming through the blinds so i really really like that and you know for me film noir is really about getting that drama and bringing in the shadows and um sculpting someone's face by using light and shadows and i just I just love the way it looks. So I plan to do a lot more film noir and I'm just gonna keep adding to my little tips and tricks and hacks. So if this has been helpful, I would love to see you subscribe to my channel and in my description, I've also got my Facebook page and my Instagram, so please feel free to follow me. I like to give lots of tips and um, I share a lot more pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much, have a great day.